What's up YouTube? This is Manuel and welcome to another video of Lifestyles and Sneakers. I think you already know what I'm gonna be featuring. The Adidas Easy Boost 350 V2 in black reflective. So stick around. If you're new here to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, let me give you some reasons why you should be subscribing now. Number one, we feature the coolest sneakers available. Number two, we go to the dopest sneaker shops and outlets. And number three, we have a lot of giveaways such as these. And apart from that, we also announce special giveaways such as the Adidas CC Boost 350 V2 Black Non-Reflective. So guys, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now! What I'm about to unbox now is one of the most sought after Yeezy of 2019. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the rarest 350 V2s. So, let's open it! This is the Adidas Easy Boost 350 V2 in black reflective colorway. So why these sneakers are so high apart from it being reflective? Well, this is actually one of the most limited Adidas Easy 350 V2s that, they, that Adidas have ever released. That's why the hype on these sneakers is just so high. Initially, I even mentioned it on my previous vlog that Adidas is supposed to release about 10,000 pairs of these sneakers. However, I don't know what happened. Uh, apparently, they only released about 4,000 pairs of these, which makes this the most limited Adidas CC 350 V2s that, they have, that Adidas have ever released. Now, let's look closer to the sneakers and um, do my usual review. Basically, on the upper is made out of this prime knit material which is actually the same as the other uh, 350 V2s but this time in charcoal and black colorway and of course the 3M reflective material that is woven in to the prime knit. They also have uh, 3M reflective laces. On the pull tab you have this red stitching uh, which is uh, similar to the pirate blacks and uh, Basically, this one is the only thing that I've noticed that is uh, different from the other 350 V2s of uh, this year because uh, the initial releases like the statics, the regional releases like the Hyperspace, um, uh, True Form, and uh, Clays, they're actually uh, see-through or semi-translucent. However, this one, if you really look into it, you can see through. However, it's more thicker. The plastic material is much thicker. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure if it was doubled. But uh, you cannot actually see through the socks that you're wearing when you put on these sneakers. Now moving down to the shoe, you have your typical uh, rib midsole uh, for the EC350 V2s. And on the outsole is your typical 350 V2s with this exposed boost that you can see. Now, would I recommend you guys to buy this on resale? Honestly, no, because it's really, really expensive. I think now the price already have uh, increased up to 1,500 US dollars. Um, definitely not worth it. Lucky for me, I was able to get it um, when it was still in a lower price. I suggest you just get the regular version, which is the non-reflective version, this one, because uh, I mean it's it's basically the same. It's just the the only difference is the reflective. Now, if you're a hardcore Yeezy collector, then uh, I'm sure you won't mind paying how much money just to get a pair of these. Now let's compare it with the regular version, which is the non-reflective version. So. What can you see off the bat? Well, definitely this is on the lighter shade because uh, the prime knit color that was used on this is more predominantly uh, charcoal and little, little hints of black. 
plus of course the trim material that is woven into it. However, for this one, it's more predominantly black with uh, hints of charcoal. So basically, I think that is the only uh, difference between the two. Apart from that, yeah, it's, it's exactly the same. You, have, you can see the, the almost uh, see-through uh, rib midsole and bottom is also the same. Pull tab is almost the same. Yeah, it's just the, the color. So yeah, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I would recommend if you really want the black pair of the EC350 V2s, then I suggest just get this one. I think this one is about 500 or below 500. Well, this one is times three the price of this one. So yeah, more, more efficient to buy this one than this one. But of course, nothing beats a retail price. However, I know that it was really hard. A lot of people went crazy um, all over the world to get a pair of these. Now I think it's time to lace this up and show you how it looked on feet. guys like how it look on feet well this is definitely a head turner especially with flash on however do I recommend you guys buying resale for this honestly no because it's too expensive you can buy a lot of sneakers uh, with the price of these uh, if you have a chance to get the non-reflective version I suggest you get this pair although it is also quite expensive I think now it's about 500 US dollars for this one <laughs> but definitely this one would work because it's also nice it's also the same during the day it's exactly the same it's just that at night time when flash hits this of course it shimmers anyway uh, that's about it for this sneakers again guys let me remind you that we have an ongoing giveaway for the non-reflective version of this pair so please share this video and the other video and try to get us more subscribers and watch our other videos so that we could reach the 100,000 minutes of watch time. Guys, I hope you like this video and if you do, please press the thumbs up button down below and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please press the subscribe button. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.